Hey there everybody, it's Wayne D. Welcome to the website. We're looking at my man Tiger Woods. He's back. He's actually going to play. So we got a swing. Uh, somebody filmed him the other day. Over here on the right. I guess that's the slow one. Let's, uh, let's look at the, f the uh, fast one. Here we go. So he's definitely ripping through it pretty good, huh? Looks like Tiger. So uh, I read a little thing in the. It was on the internet on the, from Golf Digest where some guys were commenting on it. But uh, figured I'd weigh in with an actual video. Here's Tiger from the PGA Championship in 2001. Pretty sure that's Atlanta Athletic Club. I think he was doing the Champions Clinic, and I was uh, sneaking around the range with my camera because when you're playing in a tournament, they can't kick you out. <laughs> so, he was hitting them pretty good then. Looks like he's pretty much swinging about the same speed. All right, so let's see if there's any uh, technique details. We got a little different camera angle here on the right. Somebody's a little higher and over to the left. So everything is going to look a little more outside. Uh, the hip turn is going to look a little later. So let's take a look. Pretty much classic Tiger takeaway. Everything's together. I'm thinking there's a little more early hip turn here. because since the since the camera is here let's go to the slow-mo since the camera is over to the left then that twisting you'll see is actually delayed in the camera so if you look at the amount there when the shaft is parallel to the ground I think that's more Now you're going to see a huge difference here. You can still see the right arm as you know he likes to keep it right in front of him. The uh, again the angle on the right is a little off, but it would appear that the left arm is definitely more across the chest than it was back then. Again, the camera angle would would take the arm and make it look more out, and this still looks more in. Now here's the Here's the biggest difference. Watch the club face when it appears out of the shirt here. And look at the one on the left. Now that that's a huge difference. Right? We got the face here. These aren't accurate, but they're just give you an indication of how different that is. There's a ton more rotation in the hands and the forearm wrists over here on the left and what that's going to do that rotation is going to free up this part of Tiger's shoulder here so his arm as he goes back is going to be able to stay in front of him more even though he makes a huge turn and when the face is shut you get way more pressure on the muscles up in the back of the shoulder and the scapula they start to jam back and what you'll find is the entire shoulder structure will go backwards more and the arm will carry more behind right there so when the arm up here carries more behind like this is actually like you would push it from here and push it toward the sand. This one's more in front of him. So when he comes down, we're going to see another diff big difference here. So here's the grip to the original plane. So we'll do this one too. 
grip inside the ball. All right, so let's watch the hand path on the way down. So we'll give it about six inches maybe. So that looks about even. So let's take a look at this hand path here. And then let's take a look at this one. So there's another huge difference. So if, if Tiger's right arm is pulled back behind him a little bit more, and then the arms both drop more than they did, you know, we're talking about the old swing having the hands and the club more in front of him by a bunch. So let's get the right at left arm parallel again. Look where the grip is. Now again, these aren't exact because the camera angles, so all the camera nitpickers are going to go, oh. But there's enough, there's enough evidence here. You can, you can see it. His arm, his left arm again is way, way more across him than it is here back in 2002. So he's going to get this club right out on his hands and this one's going to be nicely stuck. So how anybody could think that he was going to hit more fades from here is like, what? <laughs> I think maybe Haney said that. Uh, like, what are you talking about? If he's going to do anything from here, he's going to hit blocks. He's certainly not going to start it to the left very often from here. You know, unless he is releasing it from way back, and we know that he doesn't do that. In fact, you know, his most recent swings have been way hands forward with his driver. More so than back here. All right, so the arm's more in front of him. Everything is more in front of him. And let's watch the progress of the lower body. So this was always a, a, a tiger signature. Watch his knees, and let's stop it when the left knee has disappeared. There we go. Now let's go back over here. Now remember, the camera's over to the left, so you're going to have to let his right knee travel a little bit over the left to make it even so there you go now look where his arms are right I mean this is the first time I've ever seen Tiger square his legs up with his left arm lower than left arm lower than left arm parallel he was always way up here tremendously fast now this is dip, this is a really important for him because in both swings he's going to deepen here the way he always does so that's really one of the things that is a hallmark of his greatness is the way that he would deepen his pelvis but we're not talking about the depth here what we're talking about is the amount of rotation So with the left side much more cleared, it's easy to see here. Watch how the right leg responds now as he turns into the ball. See, but the left, the left hip over here and the left leg straightening back further. Watch his right leg. It's going to drive much, much more up into the left. So the butt cheeks are gonna are gonna snap up and left, and if you look at them over here, they're not doing that. They're still they're still aiming out this way. So the clouds behind him, his right leg's coming up under him a little bit. Clubs coming from you know in to out, but that leg movement is really uh, a, probably attributable to you know both the back and the knee I have to give both of those things credit so 
So just not the same snap in the lower body. But I think the big key, and oh, there's a, one, one other thing. I mean, you can, and then you can see how the left side is not nearly as cleared. Watch where the left forearm comes out when you can see it here. So the hands get up over the shoulder. Take a look at where that forearm is. And then look over here. That's a huge difference. So when that forearm folds over, it's really an indication that the left side has been able to clear. So that left shoulder is going way back over there. And as if, as if you needed it, one more indication. When we look at the finish, because Tiger's left side hasn't cleared, he has all this finish left over at the end where the left shoulder will, will now, you know, move more behind him and then the club wraps around his neck. So there's that finish. He never had that. See, he's so, he's so done there. That's it for it. That was the end of his finish. If you watch Hogan, he did the same thing. He never had the club wrapped around his neck. So, I don't know. I'm rooting for him, but I think this, this swing's going to have to get better.